When it comes to Zaxby's fingers, there's a few non-negotiables. It's gotta be only premium tenderloin, marinated for 12 hours and fried to crispy perfection. What is negotiable? The flavors you create mixing our 12 signature sauces. Woo, saucy! Zaxby's. We're gonna play the guessing game. We ask questions of you, and then Celeste and I can figure out it's an amazing skill that we have. <laughs> part of it is telepathic, part of it is just knowing Maine and being here for so long. We can tell what town you are from. Mm-hmm. Just it's by- from sleeping on our phone while it charges at night. That's what gave us a superpower. <laughs> It rewired our radiation. brains somehow. <laughs> the radiation from the cell phones have enabled us to have this incredible skill. Let's play. Hello. Hey, who's this? Ken. Ken, it's Captain and Celeste. How you doing? Wonderful. You really want to win those yes tickets, don't you, sir? Sure. All right, we're going to get uh, try to guess uh, what town you're living in, Ken. How about that? Okay, good luck with that. Oh, boy. <laughs> there, There's a clue right there. We're screwed. <laughs> We are totally He's screwed. in like Wisconsin or something, right? He's listening on the app. Oh, that's going to be my first my first question. Ken, do you live in Maine? Okay. <laughs> Ken, did you lose power during the storm this weekend? No. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can you pass a farm stand? Do you pass a farm stand on your way home? Pretty close. Okay. Pretty close. Ken, could you be in an open marriage? What? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, maybe I could, but my wife probably not. No. Oh, my God, Ken. <laughs> oh, boy. Ken wants to be in an open marriage, but his wife doesn't. Ken, <laughs> is there a highway exit, like, within five minutes of where you live? Pretty close to five minutes, sure. All wow. right. Oh, Ken, have you ever had sex with somebody who doesn't speak English? Oh, my God. You you're, can't ask him that. You weird, you weird me out, dude. Dude, <laughs> this I have my own system. You two just leave me alone. Oh, my God. I, uh, this hey, is, I don't live in Carthage. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. All right. Uh, one, one more question for Ken, and then we're going to guess. We gotta move Oh, on. my God. Uh, do you pass a car dealership on your way to your house? Yes. What are you thinking? Are you thinking York County? Are you thinking Saco? Oh, this is tough. Because I say borough because they've got like the you know the little lots. You know what I mean? Let's go Waterboro. Is that what you're you feeling? Go? I don't. I don't know. I'm. This is. He's a conundrum to me. He do, he hasn't had sex with anybody who doesn't you know doesn't speak English. Doesn't so speak English. So he hasn't traveled a lot. But he does want an open marriage. And he may have one oh. after this. He may have one after this call. Oh, I've been married 31 years. So He's last not going one, let's anywhere. Say you, let's say you, Celeste. I'm going Waterboro. Eh. Come on. <laughs> no. Where do you live? I'll give you, I'll give you a clue. All right. Okay. When you guys first started out, you had a tower up there and you were in a trailer. You're in Litchfield. But I, I, I'm pretty close to there. All right. Well, what so town that are you? Boils it down pretty, pretty close. What town do you? What is? Where do you live, Ken? The baddest. Oh. oh man, yeah, I wasn't gonna get that one. <laughs> well, no. good news is you won tickets to see Yes at the State Theater. This is gonna be an incredibly intimate and amazing show. Wonderful. I'm probably yes. gonna pass them on to my friend, but good for you, Ken. Yeah. Well, th- well, this was fun, man. This was fun. All right. Well, hold, hold on for one second. I learned a lot about you today. Uh, All right, Ken. Get all your info, pass it on to his buddy. <laughs> Sabatis, I was on the tip of our tongue. No, it wasn't. It he, wasn't even close. I And then I looked back, thinking back and going, there's no highway exit in Waterboro. <sighs> I was just desperate for a guess. It's all right. He had. He was, as you said, a conundrum. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Thank you, Ken. <laughs> it's time for... What is it? Showtime. You know, I want to like this football team, Celeste. I want to like I, them. I know what's happening with you. Trying to enjoy them and be encouraged by them. and mm-hmm. But, you know, you, you just keep losing games like this. Well, it just it's just the beginning of the season. It's only two, right? I know. It's only two, and probably we're going to lose these two games anyway. And But still, it's frustrating how we lose these games. I know. Patriots but... 24-17. We'll get better. I don't know. We better. Well, next week, we're in New York against the Jets. Got to win that one. Patriots got in the hole again like they did week one. They're down 10 nothing. They came storming back. They're maybe 
two minutes left, and they could they could tie it up and put it into overtime. And fourth down conversion didn't go. Now he takes the snap. He backpedals. Oh, He's pressured. He He's hit. He throws it to the near side. Fingertip catch by Kasicki. Reaching out. Laterals it back. Caught by Strange. He's wrapped up. He drives two oh. tacklers across the 30 to the 29, seemingly with a first down. After review, the runner was down short of the line to gain at the 29 and a half yard line. Yeah. Pats are 0 and 2. It's the first time that's happened, I think, since 2001. They've wow. Gone so that's it's been a while. So. Yeah. Giants had a huge comeback, their biggest comeback in 99 years. They know how to come back, and they're the Giants. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Cam. Uh, you got a Monday night football multi-game, they're calling that. Two games overlapping at the same time on Monday night football. We've had doubleheaders before, but, you know, it's they... they Go. But now we have to get a second TV to put next to the first TV, <laughs> like we're a sports bar at my house? There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, jeez. Panthers and the Saints at 7.15 on ESPN. Browns and the Steelers at 8.15 on ABC. Some people, some uh, TV sets now have the, uh, I have YouTube TV, and they're starting to do a multi, I'm going to drive yeah, you crazy. Yeah, screen and a screen. Multi, yeah. I, I always f- hit it by accident, and then I don't know how to get rid of it. I can do four screens now. What? That's yeah. insane. Yeah. And my, my Deb was like, "What do you? How can you watch?" I'm like, "No, I can do all four at the same time. Wow. I can watch four television shows at the same time." Wow! Why aren't you a jet pilot? <laughs> That's some kind of mental multitasking right there that I am not capable of. I, I am so proud of you. I should have been like the guy in the booth. Like producing, you know, when they have like 15 screens. Right. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you should be a a, a show producer. Or I should have been the music director for the Weather Channel. But no, you're here. (laughs) With you. (laughs) With me. Hey. Patriots. and you think it sounds like the worst part of your job? No, I wouldn't want to do anything. This is the best part of my day, man. (laughs) Weather Channel music director. That would have been awesome. That's hilarious. Um, If you didn't have a great weekend... I bet you it wasn't as bad as some some people we know. Drew Barrymore, she didn't have a good weekend. No, she didn't have a good weekend. Canceled her show, didn't cancel her show, apologized and did all that. Russell Brand, not in a good situation. Mm-mm. Horrible with uh, kinds of uh, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis. What did they do? They supported Danny Masterson, who was one of their co-stars on that 70s show. And, <clears throat> and he was just sentenced to 20 years in oh, prison right. for raping that's women. Right. So he had a battle. Yeah. And and they supported him. Right. And, and wrote letters of to the court asking for leniency in his sentencing and st- stuff like that and not sitting well. And they are also on the board for this human anti-human trafficking Ugh. organization, which they just resigned from. Ugh. Yeah. Jan so. Wenner of Rolling Stone. He didn't have a good weekend. He said some uh, horrible things. He's got a new book out. And he, uh, he he talked just to all men, male rock stars. And they asked him, how come no women, man? How come he didn't talk to any women rock stars? And he said, uh, they didn't articulate uh, on the same intellectual level. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know. I think Joni Mitchell and many others. Yeah. Amazing female artists could absolutely yeah. do that. So wow. he had, to, they removed him from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame board. Ooh. And he's in a lot of trouble. So if you think you had a bad weekend. Let's- when it comes to Zaxby's fingers, there's a few non negotiables. It's got to be only premium tenderloin, marinated for 12 hours and fried to crispy perfection. What is negotiable? The flavors you create mixing our 12 signature sauces. Woo, saucy! Zaxby's. Isn't that bad? I want a cheeseburger. It's too early for a cheeseburger. Too early for a cheeseburger? Look, cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Today is National Cheeseburger Day. What do you have? Cheeseburger. Yeah, for breakfast. Cheeseburger. Got it. Happy National Cheeseburger Day. It's showtime. All right, here we go. We have a special edition of Wheel of Meat. It is Wheel of Cheeseburger. With Pat's Meat Market today. Who's this? Ann. Ann, what are you doing this morning? Uh, on my way to a doctor's appointment with my daughter. All right. Okay. Do you, do you have a second to play Wheel of uh, Wheel of Meat with us? Yep. All right. So let's tell Ann what's on the wheel. We've got cheeseburgers because today it's Wheel <laughs> of cheeseburgers. cheeseburgers. All right. Are you ready to rock there, sister? Yep. All right. All right. Spin the wheel. I wonder what you'll Here get. Here we go. <laughs> I know. Oh, look at 
Look at that one. Oh, you got a double cheeseburger. Very exciting. Americans eat 50 billion burgers every year. On average, that means it's three burgers a week for every man, woman, and child in America. (laughs) True or false? True. Three burgers a week. What? Yeah. That's cuckoo pants. That means if you're not doing it, that means someone's really overcompensating. Yeah, somebody is eating a lot of cheeseburgers because I haven't had one in three weeks. Uh, The cheeseburger was invented in the United States of America, greatest country on earth, by a 16-year-old kid. True or false? True. That is true. Really? Wow. He tried to cover up the mistakes. He had like a little cheeseburger, little burger cart, uh-huh. and he would screw up. He'd slap cheese on it to like cover up the mistake Brilliant. or if it was ugly or whatever. People were like, this is good. Yeah. 1924. And it's two for two on uh, National Cheeseburger Day. Final question for you, Ann. The largest commercially available cheeseburger costs $10,000. The largest wow. commercially, this is on a menu somewhere, cost $10,000. True or false? False. It is true. Wow. Mally Sports Bar in New York. It is gi-freaking-gantic and to- cost $10,000. And if you win the GoFundMe, you can go to New York and buy that dang thing. <laughs> and you won today. Woo-woo. From Pat's Meat Market. I hope everything goes well today at the doctor's. And it's a big winner today on, say it with us. Wheel of Cheeseburger. Woo! There you it's go. the captain and Celeste. Your morning rocks on BLM.